Hey doing everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install mods using the Content Manager. <sighs> hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install mods into AMS2, the super, super easy way. And this is a simple drag and drop scenario. Create a few folders, download the files, drop them in there and it's done. So yeah, this is brilliant. So what we do, we'll go into a race department website. So find this, go to the download section. I'm going to get straight into this, as we can see, uh, into Automobilista 2 and then go down into the MISC and you'll see here. You should see it at the top. If you don't, you can simply search Content Manager. So Automobilista 2 Content Manager. Download this file, so click on it and then up here you'll see the download button. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to jump into my downloads folder and show you. So download that. Once that's done, if I bring up my download folder, it should be right here so there it is it's right here so once this is here you can extract this any software you use i use seven zip myself so um, i'm going to go down to show more options if you're on windows 10 i believe it should be there already they made it a two-step process in windows 11 don't ask me why i'm going to extract it with seven zip so once that's done it will pop out there now you can place this anywhere you like for my convenience i like to place it on the desktop it just makes it a little bit easier for me i know it's there and i'm quite scatty sometimes so i lose it so i'm going to drag that onto the desktop like so replace the files and destinations we'll ignore that whatsapp and then once you've done that you're going to want to go to the folder where your ams2 is installed which should be in your steam library so follow the steam steam apps common i think it is so we'll go through it. i might just take you through it instead of me trying to explain it so steam library steam apps common and then it should be in there so automobilist 2 once you're in there open it up and if you haven't already got a folder yet create a folder called mods if you've already got one in there before using jsme options um, I've left the mine in there and just named it old so I don't have to change anything. Once you've done that folder, you then want to create a folder inside of that called Enabled. So you create another folder inside of the mods folder, rename it Enabled, and this is where you're going to be dropping your files into here and allowing this program to auto-install them for you. So now that's been created, I'm going to open it up and I'll show you. I've got some options here which you can see are some of the downloads I've already used from the Brace Department. There's plenty on there, there's some track options. You've got the project modding team website again i'll leave the links down below where you can go and download some mods but you don't have to put any information into any other vehicle files or anything like that it simply does it all for you so drag all your modded uh, all your mod files that you've downloaded put them into the enabled folder and then once you've done that you want to go to your ams2 cm content manager double click on this exe file here that you see again you create a shortcut put it onto your desktop that'd be a lot easier as well but we're just going to click on it there and as you can see, I've already got them installed. So what it's doing is uninstalling them. So I didn't actually know it did that. So it's now uninstalled them and going to reinstall them for me. But you shouldn't see that first bit. So what it's doing now is now installing the mods that I have in that folder. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it should work. It probably won't now I'm recording, but it did work before. Tracks take a little bit longer than installing the cars. I didn't download the California Highway because it's a huge file and I didn't want to sit here for ages trying to explain it. But once these are installed and working, we'll jump into the game and I'll show you. And uh, yeah, let's do it. So once you're in the game, you'll see here, go to single race, and I've been driving the Alpine A11. Once the game's booted up, jump into it, go to single race or whatever you prefer, but single race, you can see here. So vehicle selection, as you can see, I've been driving the Alpine. This is an absolutely brilliant car. Definitely recommend downloading this and trying. It's so, so good to drive. So you'll see here in the options, you've got GT4 mod, which is this car here. You've got other cars as well. You've got the GT1 Sports Club. So it's very nice. It puts the cars into files on the side as well, which is very nice. Instead of doing it manually, they used to be scattered everywhere. But here you can see we've got the Porsche 935, another great car, FXXK, absolute animal, and the Lamborghini Ascenza as well, really, really nice car. But if you scroll down, you should see some more, depending on what you downloaded, of course. So you've got street cars here. These are the original ones, sorry. But these are the other ones I've downloaded. So you've got Scuderia there, 430, Porsche 911 GT3, 911 GT3 2002, which is actually quite difficult to drive in this game, but it's got the updated dash. It looks really nice, sounds immense as well, because it's a Porsche, really nice. And then, yeah, you've got some old school mods here as well. The Mazda RX-7, Rocket Bunny Road, and you've got the Nissan Silvia as well, S15. They are animals to drive, but again, really good fun. You've got other cars here as well, track day cars, a few other options. Again, some of them are the same. You've got the Lexus LFA. These are all found on the Projects modding team, which I'll leave a link down below. But yes, guys, absolutely brilliant. You've also got some tracks as well. So if we go to the circuit selection, I downloaded um, Sugo it was, so you can see there from uh, Project Cars 2, really, really nice. And one I haven't driven on yet, which I'm gonna try now in the Alpine, is the Berno track here, which looks uh, in Czech Republic, absolutely looks like a real challenge. So we'll give that a try in another video. But guys, I hope this helped help. I hope you find it really easy to install mods. Again, it's super, super fantastic and something that we needed for a long, long while. Have fun guys, hope it works. Any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you and I'll try and help you out with it. So yeah, thank you 
you watching guys see you later bye bye